Hey everyone, welcome to this AutoCAD 2017 tutorial on how to design an acoustic guitar. Let's go ahead and get started. What I'd like you to do is open up a new AutoCAD file, drawing file. And once you're in the program, we're going to start off with some simple shapes. I'm going to draw in a circle. So I'm just going to type in CIR, enter. And I'm going to draw in that circle and let's give it a four unit radius. At this point I also want you to make sure that your ortho mode is on so it's located down here. That's just going to help out with the angles so that they're all at 90 degrees. So turn it on and then draw another circle, CIR, enter. And to draw the second circle I want you to do the following. Kind of like pass through but kind of like connect at a point. Go to the center and then travel down that line. And I want you to type in the number 10 and I want you to hit enter. And if you did it correctly, the circle should offset itself 10 units from the original circle. And if not, just practice it a few times and you'll get it. Okay, let's give this a radius of 7. Enter. So it looks like that. And now we need that curve for the guitar. So we're going to give it a, another circle. Enter. Of radius 4. But don't type in 4. I want you to type in the following command. TTR which stands for tangent tangent radius. And if I press enter and then I click on circle number one and then circle number two and type in the number four, enter, it will create a circle that is tangent to both those two and has a radius of four. So that's looking pretty good. We're going to draw a line to cut this in half now. L-I-N-E I'm just going to draw a line to the bottom. And I'm also going to create an ellipse, E-L-L, -L. enter. And I'm going to start that one over here, the center of this circle, go across to the other side, and I'm going to give this a, a unit of 5. So there we go, 5 radius, or not radius, but ellipse-based radius. And this is looking pretty good. Now we got to kind of cut off the excess so that we're left with the general outline of the guitar. To do that, go ahead and use the trim command. So T-R-I-M, enter. I'm going to select the entire object, enter. And now you should just be able to click on things you want to remove. So I kind of want to remove like this entire half of the guitar. I want to remove these, this one, and this circle and these. And if it doesn't let you get rid of everything, that's perfectly fine. You can also just press escape and probably just select it and use the delete key on the keyboard and remove it that way. Okay, so we have about half a guitar. We're going to add two lines of unit 1.5 to each of these, so line, enter, and I'm just going to draw a line that is 1.5 units. 1.5, enter. To the top, and to the bottom. Okay, escape a few times so it looks roughly like that. And then we're going to use the mirror tool, mirror, enter, and we're going to select this object, enter, and then I'm going to draw a line up or down. And when you click, remember it's going to ask you if you want to erase source object. We don't, so I'm going to hit no, and we're left with the base of the guitar. Okay, let's go ahead and add a handle to this. I'm going to use a line, enter, and draw from the center the handle. And we're going to make this 17 units, enter. And uh, I think that'll be okay. Press escape a few times. We need that opening in the guitar now, so let's draw another circle. And I'm going to use this as my reference. I'm going to go down that line and I'm going to go down, let's say, seven units. Seven, enter, perfect. And this is gonna be uh, probably about 2.5, enter. Yeah, that looks okay. And now we can finish up our handlebar because it needs a little more width to it. I'm gonna draw a line out here and it's gonna match what we drew before, so this is gonna be 1.5 enter, escape a few times, and now I'm going to select the line and use the move tool 
M-O-V-E, enter. I'm going to move the center of that object to up here. And even if it's all springy and snappy, once you click there, it should automatically go into place. Cool. This is looking awesome. I'm going to use the line tool again to grab that and move down to the circle and kind of give it a small angle like that. You don't have to be exact with this. And then I'm going to use the mirror tool again to mirror this object, enter, across the center. And I'm not going to delete the source object. So that's what we're left with. I'm going to delete this center line. And now I'm going to copy this out. And we're going to use this for later when we're turning this 3D. I'm going to use the copy tool and I'm going to select the top portion of the guitar. Enter. I'll use this as my reference point. Just move that out there. And I'm going to use the trim tool to kind of get rid of some of the excess. So I guess this and this. I'm going to press escape a few times and then delete these with the delete command. And it looks like I would have to trim that. So instead, I'm just going to click on it and like attach it. All these useful tools. Perfect. OK, that's looking really good. And I'm trying to think if we need anything else. We might need this overall shape over here. Yeah, I think we will. So let's going to do one more copy. And I'm going to select this portion, Enter. And let's bring this one up here like this. And kind of just get rid of the excess over here. And this time, let's see if we can trim that stuff off. Enter. Can we trim these off? Perfect. I'm going to trim off that. Actually, I think we could just get rid of this as well. I don't think it's going to do much. OK, so just some extra parts for later. And over here, let's go ahead and create that offset because we're going to actually hollow out this guitar. So use the offset tool of 0.2 units, 0.2, enter. I just want you to go at each edge and you can see what I'm doing. I'm going inside, clicking and moving it inward to create that offset effect. And when we hollow out this guitar, you'll see that this was actually necessary for creating that inner shell. Perfect. Let's use the rectangle tool to create the base down here, rectangle. I'm just going to draw in a rough rectangle, let's say 4.5 units. Actually 4 might be better, <laughs> 4 units. I'm going to use the move tool to select it, enter, and move it to the center of that circle. And then use the move tool again to select it and move it down a little. OK, and then I'm going to use the rectangle tool to draw in a rectangle that's roughly a third the size. And then I'm going to use the move tool to select that rectangle, enter, and move that up to about there. OK, so that's looking really good right now. So we're going to save that, and I'm actually holding down Shift right now, so I'm rotating my screen by clicking in the middle mouse wheel as well. And I'm now going to copy the entire guitar over. So let me actually look at it from here. Copy, Enter. Select the entire guitar, Enter. And then I'm going to move it over here. And press Escape a few times. I'm going to select this entire thing and type in the region command, enter. And actually, I think I have to select it again, enter. Cool. And it's going to convert everything into simple shapes, so it's going to help us extrude it out. OK, that's going to be this first video tutorial. Hopefully, you come back for part two, where we are going to turn this 2D guitar into a 3D guitar. OK, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.